Hello, hello everyone. I am Andrew Dorney, also known as the Twelfth Guy near YouTube. Today, some more Let's Play LEGO Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. In the previous episode, we finished the Empire Strikes Back story mode. Today, we are starting Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, with Chapter 1, Jabba's Palace. Let's get that story mode going. <clears throat> so, between episodes, I did quite a bit of grinding for uh, LEGO studs just popping in and out of uh episode four chapter one to reset all of the the chairs and also all of the the trash cans and explodables uh outside the cantina and also i went and purchased all of the hints at the store it costs i think about a couple thousand lego studs uh after everything was all said and done and i did that just because uh we're going to be doing a lot of mass purchasing at the end of the series and that was one thing that i just wanted to take care of right away and also i feel like if you were playing along you probably also went and bought all of the um the um the hints just to get them out of the way uh there are also a bunch of uh gold bricks that you slowly unlock over the course of the game that you can purchase at the bar um and that also counts towards your 100% completion. Sorry, I had to take a sip because my mouth was getting dry. I have a little bit of Limpton Diet Green Tea with citrus just to kind of uh, make sure my mouth doesn't get dry. Uh, my tongue is burning a little bit. I just had lunch. Uh, my dad made some chimichangas. And of course, in true tra tradition, uh, we don't wait for our food to cool. We just uh, go and eat it. Now this does mean that I have a bit of a sore spot on my tongue and it's really messing with me. Oh, so yeah, that's been my life. Uh, also at the time of recording this, um, <laughs> this is really dumb, but pausing for dramatic effect. Um, I am still in the process of uploading uh, today's episode of jedi academy i am recording this on tuesday because uh i procrastinated a little too hard this weekend so you know all that fun stuff uh yep okay did not mean to do that but here we are oh my gosh i got friggin mucus up in here a storm uh came through my area this morning like really early in the morning and so, uh, because of that, oh shoot, uh, my dog was freaking out. And uh, at one point, she was all like, let me into your bed. And of course, you know, she can't um, get into the bed on her own, so I had to help her up. And so dog hair got all over my, my bed, got all over me, because she's, you know, freaking out and scurrying all over the place. So I had to, to wash my uh, my sheets and my bedspread. And now I've got dog hair, even more dog hair flying around my room. And uh, it's really annoying because I'm allergic uh, to dog dander. I'm also allergic to cat dander, but I suffer through the pain because I love cats and dogs way too much. If someone were to ask me, are you a cat person or a dog person, my answer would be yes. Now, I've been told that that's an illegal answer. You can't just answer yes. You have to be either dog or cat. Uh, to which I say to you, uh, that's bullshit. <laughs> you know, you should... Oh, hello. <laughs> I forgot that these guys can uh, block um, their um, the laser bolts with their friggin' axes. Um... But anyways, yeah, I I say, uh, go ham, and, oh, nope, no, 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 I see what you're doing, um, go ham, have a dog and a cat, it's great. Sometimes your dog and cat get along really well, sometimes they only tolerate each other, it's perfect. Uh, do, 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 ah, uh, yes, that, <laughs> this Grimorian guard is just rocking out. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, across this level, you'll find uh, these hatches. They'll just 
uh, shoot out Gamorrean guards to stop them. You just go up and um, pull the lever. So, you know, a good way to, to just keep them occupied um, with not spawning. Occupied with not spawning? What? <laughs> Whatever. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Um, try uh, to keep them from, you know, spawning. You do that, and then alternatively, uh, you've got the, um, oh my god, freaking mucus. Um, alternatively, you do have the music boxes, which appear throughout the level, and those uh, can also help you. Oh, I'm going to get hit. Yep, got hit immediately and lost my helmet. All right, there we go. I need that. Thank you very much. Now let's open this up. Do 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 do. So the great thing about uh, this version of Princess Leia is she is supposed to be disguised as a bounty hunter, and uh, as such, uh, can get the uh, the bounty hunter helmet and be able to throw thermal detonators, which is really cool. Now I bring this up because we can actually go all the way out here, and do do do. Oh, hold on. I'm not good at platforming, guys. There we go, and we can detonate the silver blocks with the thermal detonator. It's pretty great. I recommend coming back out here to get these so you uh, have a bit of an easier time with trying to get uh, 100%, or not 100%, but uh, true Jedi. Uh, I believe... Yeah, it requires... Yep, that requires R2-D2, or... It, actually, yeah, I think R2-D2 is the only astromech in this game. That or you could use Boba Fett, who has a jetpack, which is pretty cool. Spoilers? Maybe? Not really? I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm curious what um, you guys consider to be a spoiler for, like, this series. Because thinking about it, the, the game's kind of old let's be honest like it was um it was a thing when um like it had already released probably before i was even made aware of it because i'm pretty sure i learned about the game a good while after it was released um and so can you friggin stop thank you um, uh, I'm gonna have to take care of that other hatch, aren't I? Mm, nope, there we go. Um, so yeah, oh, can you, thank you. Um, so yeah, actually, I don't know exactly how old this game is, surprisingly. You would think I would know that off the top of my head, but I don't. <laughs> this Let's Play, despite being 100%, is not very informative. It's a, it's a lot of like, well, I remember kind of deal. Alright, what we got in here? Survey says, ooh, nice. Some Lego studs. Let's get this built now, please. Thank you. Oh, jeez, that's a lot. Okay. <laughs> that was about a thousand, give or take? Alright, so that gave us a grapple point over on the left. And now we can go up here and get this red brick. Perfect. It's very rare that you can get a, a red brick in story mode. And it honestly, it always feels really nice. Like it's a little treat that they're like, here, have a red brick. And I'm like, oh, thank you. It's not even free play mode. It's like, yes, that's why we're, we're doing this this one time. It's a treat on us. Don't dwell on it. And it's like, oh, okay. Uh, oh, um, a question that I have for you guys. Question of the day. Um, which style of vehicle level do you prefer? Do you like the more... Um, do you like the more rail shooty kind of levels from the first game? Do you like the... Um, the semi-linear design of the um of 
Jesus Christ. Um, the the more semi-linear design of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now, um, the more linear but somewhat open um, design of this game, or uh, do you like the um, oh, was it the complete how the complete saga did its vehicle levels where? It, they felt a lot more open, and I'm sure that's probably just me being me. But I always felt like um, they just felt like infinitely more open than LEGO Star Wars 2. Now, I will say that um, the vehicle levels in the DS version of um, LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga... They were definitely uh, a lot more linear. Um, oh, okay. No, that's fine. Uh, guys? Hello? Should we come this way? Luke is having some issues. There we go. Pull those down. And that opens that. Perfect. Shiny metallic objects can only be destroyed with bounty hunter thermal detonators. Gee, you don't say. Uh, can we break that? No. Okay, yeah, that requires something else. Okay, so we need to get you a helmet, which is actually right here. Okay. There we go. I was like, oh, we're going to have to backtrack all the way. Nope. No, we don't. Uh. So I just looked over at the, uh, the upload window for today's Jedi Academy, which by the time you get this uh, video, that video will have already been live. But it actually looks like this game will, or this game, um, that episode, and hopefully this episode will both uh, come out on time. Because uh, it says seven minutes left. It's currently 1.21 p.m. So that should hopefully mean that it will at least be finished uploading at 1.30. I don't know if it'll be finished processing, which might affect it getting out to people, which isn't, it's not too terribly bad. I mean, as long as I can be like, ah, well, it uploaded at 1.30. You guys just didn't get it until after 1.30. Which could be, you know, just a standard YouTube thing of being like, oh, to YouTube barks. But it, but even then, that'd be a little disingenuous, because it's still on me to to upload and have it done ahead of time, and I just haven't. I just kind of dropped the ball. This pandemic stuff has been affecting me in weird ways. Lots of like random like, oh well, I guess I just don't have energy to record until like the last minute, and it's like, well, hang on a minute, this ain't schoolwork. Uh, oh, no, you don't. Aha, you fool. Oh, oh, no. There we go. Let's, whoop, break you, and then break you. Oh, we are so close to True Jedi. Oh, so very close. Oh, 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 can we get a few pot shots? The answer, oh my gosh, Luke, you are in the way, honey. There we go. All right, let's just break this apart, get some money. <laughs> oh man, we found like 30 bucks in that droid. <laughs> Who would put $30 in a droid? And then Joe was like, has anyone seen my $30? I put it in a droid. <laughs> and everyone's like, sir, why did you put it in a droid? Don't, <laughs> don't ask me questions, I don't know. Uh, such weird head cam and head cannons I come up with. Like, holy crap! All right, there we go. Ho, ho, ho. And we need to put you. Actually, we can't do that. Let's get that and get you. There we go. And then we build ourselves. Da, 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 da. A little control. Oh, it's not done. There we go. A little controller. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. All right, there we go. 
Uh, huh, let's go this way. And... Yeah, let's grab R2-D2 first. He's the true star of the show. There we go. Let's get that. Perfect, and now we have to go and move this over to see 3 po and get him out of the container tube. Man, remember that part of the of the movie where Luke, Chewie, and Leia all had to like break in to Jabba's palace, like they were all like like R two D two C three PO got in there, and then they were like, "Oh, you're bad droid. Do you get put in the bad spot or whatever?" Um, and so they get put in a couple of cubes, and then Luke's just chilling out in the foyer. And then Leia and Chewie show up, and they're like, all right, let's shoot a bunch of fools. Yeah, that was my favorite part of the movie. There we go. So this should hopefully allow us to get past. Yep. Perfect. And just destroy them. Excellent. And now, R2-D2 needs to access this door. Wonderful. Alright, Luke. Lead the charge. Uh... Ooh. Is there? Yes, there is. Okay. There we go. Close that hatch. Oh, no you don't. There we go. Oh, what? Really? Nothing. Uh, fine. Nothing? Oh, is this... Oh, this is that one room. Where it's like, some of the stuff just doesn't give you money. For no reason. That's what this room is. Uh. Alright, well. Let's not dwell on that. And instead, focus on putting all of these pieces in the right place. Uh, no you don't. <laughs> I, t I take your heart and I eat it so that I may regenerate my own health. There we go. And then this one is up next. Oh, nope. No you don't. <laughs> Chewie's just going ham. It's like, Chewie, stop. You don't deal any damage. Because you're not being directly controlled by a human. It's like, what are you talking about? Also, why am I speaking English? I mean, brr. Uh, nope. Dead. And dead. Perfect. Now let's get a move on. Do, 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 do. You guys are kind of in the way, but it's fine. <laughs> ba -da -ba -bum. Oh, man. I don't know if I ever touched on this in um, my Let's Play of the previous game. But the GBA version... No, yeah, I, I briefly mentioned the GBA version of um, LEGO Star Wars video game in a bonus episode. But, like, I never really focused on, like, some of the weird aspects of it. Like, one weird thing that the GBA version of LEGO Star Wars the video game did um, was how you swapped characters. You had to, like... Um, what was it? You had to hit select, and then you selected your character, and then you fell apart and then reassembled as that character. It was really wild. Um, and, like, it, hmm, I'm trying to get my thoughts straight on it, because it's just, it's one of those things where it's like, you're not really sure... If it was like a an interesting, like as in like a good kind of design, or if it was just like one that it was just kind of one that existed. Uh, I don't know. It definitely was. Uh, hmm. It. I don't know actually. Cause I'm torn between, you know, it, in the sense of like, the game world. Like, the fact that everything's Lego, you fall apart and reassemble as another character is kind of cool. But at the same time, it takes up so much time 
that you would just prefer something like this where you go up to a following companion and press Y or whatever the button may be in like whatever version you might be playing this on. Um, oh, God dang it. I can't believe I died. Um, yeah, it'd be quicker that way or in free play mode in the, the console and PC versions of this game where, um, sorry, I'm like focusing on like several things at once. Um, where in free play mode, you just tap L or R and cycle through the characters that way. So it, it's kind of, I don't know, I'm torn. Because it's like, one is aesthetically pleasing, but really slow. And the other doesn't, like, it doesn't really fit the game world. But it's, it, it's a lot faster. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you prefer the um you know speed over aesthetic or do you prefer the aesthetic over the speed i don't know there's definitely there could be a way where you know you have both I'm not entirely sure how you could do both effectively at least not in this game you might have to rework how character swapping works which probably would be way too time consuming um for you know something like that i don't know let me uh, definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think there we go and perfect that is actually it looking over that was 22 minutes wow <laughs> uh good golly and it looks like um, episode 10 of Jedi Academy has successfully been scheduled for a 130 release. Uh, I'm just going to mark you as public because it is now 130. I'm going to hit done. And save. <laughs> We're going to do this live to see if there's a copyright notice. Uh, no. Okay, cool. I've actually been having... Um, <laughs> oh shoot, uh, I forgot about the boss. Um, sometimes I have issues with the uh, copyright of the Star Wars music because of good old Disney. Um, gosh darn it. Oh, right. Uh, oh, this level is. Oh no, yeah, there's Han and Chewie. Uh, there we go. I love how the Rancor ignores the droids because it just, like, inherently knows, like, that's not food. There we go. I'm going to grab Chewy. I'm going to build this up real quick. And do that. There we go. And, oh, jeez. Ow. Uh, access to that panel. I will say, I really like how they designed the Rancor fight, of how, um, you know, you've got to spawn these Gamorrean guards, and the Rancor will, you know, pick it up, and then you shoot the, um, the explosives, and the Rancor gets hurt. It's a really interesting concept. I really like how it's implemented. There's just, uh, it just works. Like, honestly probably one of the best boss fights in the entire game and just the the simplicity of you know how it's done how it's executed how it doesn't really take your time or is too terribly punishing i don't know it's just great also in uh <laughs> i love how in uh this game in the lego interpretation the um uh, the rancor isn't dead it's just uh it just sees stars <laughs> even though all the gamorians that it did eat definitely died but you know we digress uh and then da -da -da -da, it's now all cut up there also i think 
Yeah, this that sequence is a little out of order. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it definitely is. Ooh, Super Zapper. That is um, for the weapon that the Jawas use. And also, I think, R2-D2 as well. So that's pretty cool. Also, we get Skiff Han Solo. <laughs> Even though we haven't done that level yet. But it's fine. Uh, so, a sub total? No, stud total is a whopping 1.3 million. Wonderful. We're just 700,000 away. That's really great. Once we start doing free play mode, we'll definitely have access to a lot more areas. And so we'll get a lot more Lego studs. So hopefully we should have uh, score times two very soon. But I'm not going to continue story. I'm actually going to the cantina. Why? Because we're actually ending the episode. It's 26 minutes, almost half an hour. Um, I know some past few videos I made have been like stupid long. Uh, but this time around is going to be a, a little on the short side, maybe. I don't know if you would call this short or not. But anyways, that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Next time on LEGO Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, we will be uh, doing the second chapter of uh, The Return of the Jedi. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.